the great Australian doorstep. Now, you all know, after 10 years of this radio show, I'm always on the hunt always. for the latest and greatest in gadgets and products. And what have you found? This is awesome. It's called the Standard Squeeze. Oh, and that I, sounds nice. I, <laughs> It is yeah. nice. Well, actually, it is nice because this is an, an amazing invention. I think it's absolutely awesome. And it's a way to not only have less spillage and breakage when you're traveling, but also to be more responsible with our drinking. Very good. Very, Very good. good. Yes. And we are joined right now by the mastermind behind this invention, the Standard Squeeze. Ashley, good morning. How are you? Hey, Spider Sheree. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no, right. No, this is absolutely awesome. I'm going to I'm gonna set it up quickly. Yeah. What it is, it's a plastic bottle. And I know everyone says this. It looks like your Ad Blue or your oil container for your car. And yes, it does look like that. But the, well, you know what it looks so it looks like the toilet stuff you put it in your caravan. That's the same sort of bottle. Okay. So you put your alcohol in a bottle, you squeeze a it. A plastic bottle. Yeah, plastic bottle, and you squeeze it, and it measures out perfectly 30 mil to make your drink. Now, Ash, what made you come up with this invention? Oh, well, there was a few reasons, I suppose. Um, my dad and I, we both mainly drink spirits, so I suppose that means taking glass bottles and yes. shop floors when we're in the great outdoors and the friends' houses. And the I certainly might have had a, a few nights where I've overindulged <laughs> and... and uh, not measured my drinks. So yeah, when, you were, the when they were like 200 mil instead of 30 mil. <laughs> that, that's exactly <laughs> right. And, and we, we were sitting sitting there one uh, earlier in the year and throwing around a few ideas. And like you say, we were, we were thinking about the oil containers that they use for chemicals and oils. And yeah. we just we designed our own bottle with a 30 mil chamber and we made a brand and a business. And here we are with the standard squeeze. But it's just perfect. We used it for the first time over the weekend at a mate's barbecue. And we thought, even though we went the wrong day to the barbecue, but anyway, we uh, it was just, yeah. it was perfect. Because because, you know, you know how much you can drink before you're over the limit. So that's all you put in the bottle. You can have your three or your four drinks, whatever it is, over a three or four hour period. But it, it also, I, the biggest thing I noticed is my, my drinks tasted good because it wasn't, you weren't over pouring. That's a great point, and one of the biggest things about the squeeze is, yeah, you can you can mix, you can pour a lot and make your drink doesn't taste very nice, or you can pour the perfect drink every time. Exactly. That's, that's what we use the bottle for. And uh, as you know, you can keep control of it. Your, your bottle lasts a lot longer. We know that much. Uh, <laughs> the thing I like about it as well is if you actually like into cocktails and you have two or three different liqueurs. You can actually mix them all in there, pre-mix it. Yes. And then all you have to do is do the 30 mil and it makes your cocktail. That's right. And we, we love drinking uh, espresso martinis down here. So um, you can go there with your coffee and your Kahlua and your vodka. And it's, uh, when you're mixing your cocktails, if you mix them, one of the elements too strong, it won't taste nice. So That's you've right. got the, the perfect cocktails every time with the squeeze, yeah. How good is that? And, you know, it's plastic, perfect for, you know, if you do, I don't know, whether is there many music festivals where you can BYO, but, I mean, if you are going no, somewhere I where think you take... people take that upon themselves at okay. times. <laughs> but it's perfect because it's plastic. So you haven't got yeah. glass, you're not worrying about carrying three or four big bottles and leaving half of them there or whatever. Like, it's a, the perfect size. That's right, and we've got, um, you know, there's a lot of people that are using this squeeze. We've got, you know, younger Australians, like you say, having, having pool parties and no glass around the pool, music yes. festivals, and people are using them for, you know, fishing, camping, outdoors, oh. on the golf course, in yeah. the boat. There's a lot of caravanners too, getting around, hopefully getting around Australia soon. They'll be throwing the plastic bottle in the back of the caravan rather than 100%. having glass bottles oh, rolling yeah. around. So. How, how devastating. <laughs> is that when you full drive, you get to the top of the mountain, you're in the middle of nowhere, you got absolutely nowhere, no one around you, and you get your bottle of whatever it out, whatever it's out, broken. and it's broken, or you've dropped it, and it's, it's like, the worst. oh, what? It's the worst. It would be that worth its weight in gold yes. just for that one trip. That's it. Now, what about the different size? There are different sizes, isn't there? Yeah, so we've got a 700, a bottle that holds 700 mils, and we've got a bottle that holds a litre. Um, and they both, they both have the 30 mil chamber. So, um, you know, unlike the other bottles out there, our bottles, um, it's BPA free, made from HDE plastic, which pretty much means that it's food grade. Yes. Um, yeah, it's one-handed operation, and um, yeah, they all have the 30 mil chamber, unlike Even other people that they, they say about uh, the two-strike oil bottles and that. Yeah. I don't know how. I'd, I'd, I don't think I'd be wanting to wash out my ad blue or no. my two-stroke bottle and fill it with alcohol so absolutely and looking at that uh realistically if you're taking if you're going away for a week and you are going into the bush or you are caravan and camping you could fit a lot of those in your camp fridge yes if you are into your wine put all your wine in there 
because you're not carrying the bottle. That's right. You, if you, yeah, that's right. You can fill it with anything you want, really. It doesn't just have to be spirits. No, that's right. And these, these are perfect. They're lightweight. They're perfect for Christmas presents because they're easy to post and yeah. they don't cost a lot. And you guys have got fantastic deals, too, if you're buying multis. So if you're buying four or five in a pack and that sort of thing, you guys have got really good deals on those as well. Yeah, that's it. And uh, it's, it's a pretty cool thing because we've just started this business this year. So, you know, we're just a family business you know my, my father and me and i'd probably be in a little bit of trouble if i didn't mention my mum and, and my wife that help us <laughs> behind the scenes and See. um we're, we're just getting our stores uh, our bottles in stores around australia now and you know we're starting to stock some smaller bottle shops and some outdoor shops and oh, we're just we're just about to get our bottles into hopefully into tackle world around australia and starting off with tackle world in bundaberg so um people will be able to get into tackle world bundaberg and get their squeeze ready awesome. for christmas and out there so yeah it's it's pretty cool to have your own bottle or your own concept you've made and get it to into a shop. So yeah, we're very excited about. Yeah, that's displays. fantastic. Yeah, and it's a it's a, it's a great story. And also for you ladies out there, they've also got the stainless steel tumblers. They're the best. Yeah, they, they are. The absolute best. Well, thank you for joining us this morning, Ashley. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. No problem. And you can jump onto the standardsqueeze.com. I'll put all the links up on our social media as well. We can jump on there. Fantastic Christmas present ideas for sure. And coming up later on the show, though, it is Spiders' Where Am I competition. The Great Australian Doorstep.